Hey everyone, okay, so today's video, I've got a coffee because I'm gonna be talking you through how to lift an eye. And this is really a stencil or a guideline for those people that um, struggle with eyeshadow or have hooded eyes or droopy eyes, which is where this part of the eyelid can come down and look a little bit sort of tired or a little bit sad. So I'm gonna be using my brush, obviously. Come on, focus on it. Oh look, it did it then. Did it? Come on. There you go. So brush number five I'm gonna be using. I'm also gonna be using brush number 20, which is a much smaller brush. Come on, bugger. Which is a much a slightly bigger brush than brush number five, I'm so sorry. And I'm also gonna be using my number three brush as well. So what I'm gonna do is just apply, I'm gonna use this palette here. It's a really old, sort of rank looking palette. And I'm just gonna prime the eyelid by just applying a dusting of eyeshadow all over the eyelid because there's nothing else on my face. So I want the um, shadows to adhere to something. So when you've got a problematic eye that you consider problematic or an eye that is difficult or you just find eyeshadow difficult, in general. Um, this is what we do. So I'm going to be taking a flat brown eyeshadow and I'm knocking off all the excess onto the back of my hand because I don't want that to be too much on. So what I'm going to, this mirror in front of me is so awkward because it's at an angle, right? But if it, if it isn't at an angle, then I can't see it. It's very awful. So what I'm going to do is start at the outside corner of my eye and I'm just going to roughly draw underneath the eye to begin with, okay? So all the way in and then all the way to the outside corner. And right here, I'm just sort of touching the top of the eyelid. Now that may or may not be visible on you. It depends on your eye shape. If it isn't, just go to the outside corner. Now what you want to do is because there is this thing with eyeshadow where you can pull the eye down. You don't want to pull an eye down. So start from that outside edge, and if you've got a bit of skin here that's hanging over, I want you to draw over that skin, just like that. You're just gonna draw over the fleshy bit. Now I'm gonna move on to my number 20 brush, which is the slightly bigger brush, and I'm just knocking off any of the excess eyeshadow. And now from here, I'm connecting that outside corner up. So I've just connected it like that. Don't worry if it's come down here, it's gonna, if you've got a hooded eye, you're gonna get some there. So I'm just connecting it and then I'm gonna fill in this area of the eye right here, because this is the area that most people hate, right here. So I'm gonna fill that in. Now, I've come up just before halfway here, and there's a reason for that, because what we blend will extend. So in and out, it's gonna extend. So I'm now taking that brush I used, which of course is the number three brush, and now I'm gonna to start to blend this, and it's gonna soften this socket, and it's gonna to start to blend the line. Now, with eyeshadow application, I like to apply things in two to three layers because I, it need, there has to be longevity. So the more you apply something, the, the greater the kind of payoff is, the more it's gonna stay on your eye. So I'm now gonna go back in to that outside corner right here, and then I'm gonna blend it again. And I put my finger here, and the reason being is because I'm old, so my skin moves a bit more and I like to keep things a bit more stable. So by pressing here, I'm just stabilizing my eyelid slightly, but I'm not distorting the shape. I'm not doing this or this or this. I'm just pressing it here and it just acts as a little bit of a stabilizer. Now when I blend, I blend back and forward, in and out, and then I blend up and out so that the color fades to the brow bone so that it doesn't have this really light brow bone and then just dark here. So I'm gonna darken the lid a little bit more 
So I'm going to bring in this colour and I'm actually going to bring it in the bulk of the way and you'll see why in a minute. And then I'm going to blend that. It's really important when you do an eye that you have an end point in mind. So my end point is here. It is the end of the eyebrow. Now I don't want this darkness up here, but I do need it to blend into nothing. So that's why I'm blending it up and I'm blending it at an angle towards the end of the brow. It's also a good idea to go underneath the eye and just to soften the line that you've created, but you can easily soften this with a bit of foundation and a brush, whatever you want. Now with your stencil or a problematic eye, however you want to look at it, it's very important that this area right here connects. If it doesn't connect, you've broken the shape that we're trying to make. So you've distorted the eye. So this bit here has to connect. Now I'm using just this one brown color. You could use any other color you wanted. I'm just doing it because it's dark and therefore you can see what I'm doing, but it must connect at that outside corner because you're wanting them to connect the lower lid and up and out. And then just blend. So I'm blending it inwards so that pretty much the bulk of my eyelid now is covered with the brown eyeshadow but it's it's lighter here because I've been blending and it's still darker at the crease. So what I'm going to do is just tidy up underneath the eye to give you a stronger um, look of the eye because it can look a bit distorted when there's sort of a bit more if when there's discoloration and fallout and things like that. So when it comes to any form of eye, a lot of times, and I'm going to do this on the other eye to demonstrate, what we see is the inner corner here highlighted. This is a perfect corner to highlight because it will bounce light out and no matter what eye shape, this bit here will always show. But what we see, or I see a lot of, is this, and I'm going to show you on the other eye. Okay, so a lot of colour here. I'm not a massive fan of that. I don't think it looks that flattering. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to take my number seven brush. Now this is a tiny, tiny brush. This brush can be used for the lid, any part of the brow. Um, it's really great for micro concealing, but it's also really beautiful for doing a beautiful highlight on the inner eye. Now with this look, we've gone out at an angle by pulling it up towards the end of the brow. So we pulled up and now we want to pull down here to create that cat eye. And this looks great with women with hooded eyes because you're extending your eye shape a fraction of the amount. So what I like to do is look down and when I'm looking down I like to start right here on the tear duct and this is going to take, this is not as quick as just doing that but the effect is very beautiful because it's quite subtly disarming. So you're going to highlight here and I've gone past the natural part of my tear duct there. And now I'm going to look down and I'm going to join it to the bottom part. So that this area is now highlighted but really close to the lid. But we now need to blend this section here into the brown because we can't leave it, it has to blend. So I'm just going to lightly feather in this section. And that to me is, it's much more beautiful because it's slightly extended the eye by a fraction, but that's a huge amount. So it's coming in more and out more, which is perfect in eye makeup. So now you wanna use a tiny little brush. Now, if you've never used my eyeshadow brushes before, they are absolutely amazing, but this one is phenomenal. It is the number eight brush. 
It is the smallest brush you will ever use. It is perfect for carving out the most beautiful eyebrow hairs, but you can then take this brush, which is what it was used for, and push it into the lash line to create the blackest bed of lashes. And what's really cool is because we've highlighted this inner corner here, we're now gonna do two things, is we've got this light here, and then we're gonna add this dark to the lash line, and it's just gonna look really cool. And what's great about this technique, and why you need a black eyeshadow, because they're so important, is because nothing will define your lash line better than this technique, and you're not losing any lid space at all. And also, the fact that the mirror is so far away, and I'm doing this, that's a feat in itself, I'll tell you that. Because I'm about to detach my retina. I know. So now you can see that this area here is really well defined. When it comes to any form of highlight on your brow bone, there, let me just have a drink. I tell you, very few women will ever go, you see this, I want it to look really, really heavy. And that's what a lot of shimmer there does for a lot of eye shapes. If you really want to add shimmer to the eye, then add it, and you could add it to the lid if you want to here, but I'm not going to for this tutorial. But if you want to add a bit of shimmer there, you really want to highlight, and I'm going to use um, my number five brush, you really want to highlight just this section here. That's it. You don't want to highlight really anything more on a very hooded eye, or especially if you're old or you're over 40 and this area is very, very prominent, you're just going to draw attention to it. So just a touch is enough. So next we're going to curl eyelashes and mascara. So I've curled the lashes and applied some mascara. The mascara I used is the new Hourglass Mascara, which is really, really nice. Now, if you're dealing with a truly hooded eye, um, false lashes will make a massive difference. They can open up the eye like nobody's business. It is entirely up to you whether or not you want to go for it, but a hooded eye is the perfect eye for, um, for lashes, for fake lashes anyway. So I'm just going to apply another coat. I'm not wiggling this mascara. And the reason being is because wiggling, for me, on my ridiculous lashes, look, a bit's just dropped, um, just looks horrendous. Mine just will clump up in a second if I even think about doing a wiggly motion, almost always. So I'm just going to go from lash to tip. And who doesn't love a bit of tip? I do. Now, if you've got really good lower lashes, um, apply it to the bottom lash line as well. I don't, they're really, really sparse. And when I apply it there, it just draws attention to the fact that they're really, really sparse, which is not something that I want to do. But there you go, that is the stencil, that is your guideline. Is this how I apply eye makeup? No. The reason being is because I, I prefer to do the crease first and then join up underneath, but starting underneath is great if you really are struggling with um, eyeshadow application and eyeshadow work in general. Um, it will make a massive difference because then you've got a guideline of where to connect and you can't go wrong and you can't pull the eyelid down either. You can only go up. And by really going into this kind of, um, this inner corner here and just extending it slightly you just get this really cool kind of um, sexy vibe going on, which I think is great. There you go, that's it. That's your training. <laughs> See you next time, bye-bye. Hey everyone, okay, so this is just a nice little quickie. So, in the comment section below, tell me what your number one best bit of advice is. So, the best bit of advice you've ever been given. Let me know in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear it. And as cliche as it sounds, and as you know, ridiculous as it may be for a cliche bit of advice, the best bit of advice I've ever been given is be nice. It has seen me through 
be nice. So let me know, doesn't matter what it is or how benign or whatever, just leave it in the comment section below. What is your best bit of advice? Thanks so much and I'll see you all soon, bye bye.